Hello Aquarius, I'm Christy, you're watching Tiny Tuttle Tarot and this is your reading for the week ahead. As always, if anything I say resonates with you or you feel it will in the future, because obviously it's not happened yet, please let me know by liking and subscribing. Let's get on with your reading, what's happening for the beautiful Aquarius this week. Okay, you've got Three of Swords and the World. You're wrapping up a cycle of pain or fear or both, which is very nice to see. Three of Swords is not necessarily a good card, but because it's here with the world, it's like you're tying up loose ends. If you're writing a diary or a journal, you're finishing it. You're like, yep, done, new chapter, new part. This isn't very happy. You're moving into a new cycle by wrapping up old stuff. Uh, some of you, like, it's even very therapeutic in a way. There could be some old, um, memory or something that you're rehashing just so that you can kind of solidly let go of it if it's been if there's like a it's almost like a bee buzzing in your mind but it's a memory or it's a thing that's happened and you're the way you're shooing this bee away and the way you're getting this bee to go away is by acknowledging it you're like yep I see you yep cool you're in the past goodbye and you're letting go of some type of pain some past thing it's going this week it's very I'm happy for you. You're letting go of it. What else is going on? What's happening for Aquarius? Uh, the wheel. The wheel is a very lucky card. It's the wheel of fortune. So things moving, good karma coming to you because of all the good you do. Um, very nice to see that this week for you. You're, you're just going to feel quite like lucky this week in general. Um, it's a good energy to be in. What else is going on? Three of Wands. Ten of Wands. So Three of Wands is about expecting, and Ten of Wands is about letting go of things. Letting go of a lot of weight on your back, letting go of a lot of past stuff that you don't need to carry with you anymore because it's past. It's gone. Uh, you're expecting maybe to have to carry a lot for a lot longer. You're expecting to have to keep on keeping up with a lot on your back, but there's, the truth is you're not going to have much on your plate in the future. It's going to be a lot more peace, and you can expect a lot more calm waters. Things are changing, but I don't know if you see that. Eight of Pentacles. I'm gonna sneeze. Sorry. Bless me. Um, you can tell I don't edit these videos now. Eight of Pentacles. Um, is all about working. There's something about your job. There's something about your, um, what it is you do. What it is you keep yourself busy with. I'm getting actually some of you weird thing to say whatever it is you do to keep yourself busy with the six of swords it's going to be very good for you this week um some of you have like something that you escape to you might escape to a yoga class you might escape to pilates but there's something this week like make sure you do uh, you might feel called maybe to skip a class you might feel called to kind of not you might feel like i don't want to do it one week one day will be fine there's something where you don't want to go somewhere, you don't want to do something. Obviously, always listen to your own intuition, don't listen to me. Listen to yourself first. But if there's something you kind of don't want to do this week, it might be good to do it anyway. There's something that's going to happen, there's someone you want to meet, there's something that's going to occur. You're supposed to do something, there's something... Ace of Wands, there's a passion, there's a lot of attraction, there's something where, um, you're gonna look good this week, Aquarius, like, you, I don't know what it is, it's like, you look good, what are you doing? Six of Wands, lots of people looking at you, there's a feeling of, like, people being surprised by how good you look, like, it's in a setting that you wouldn't usually look good, weird thing to say. But it could be at the gym or something. It could be, like, I can't, that's the only example I can find where it's, like, somewhere you would expect someone not to look their best is, like, the gym or, like, maybe, like, the dentist or something where you expect to kind of, I don't know, you just wouldn't be dressed up. You wouldn't look great. There's something where you're kind of glowing. You're looking great no matter what you're doing. And people are like, what? Where are you off to after this? And you're like, nowhere. And they're like, but you're so, you look so good. And you're like, it's just natural, just the natural glow. And it's just me. There's something where you look really good. And I'm not just saying that to your horn. It's like, 
Ace of Wands, that's the energy I'm getting from this, like moths to a flame, people are going to be looking at you. And then Six of Wands is getting a lot of attention, so you might be getting more attention than you want to get, but what can you do when you look as good as you, of course? Um, I'm kidding, Page of Cups, Page of Cups is a surprise. There's a surprise coming in, Aquarius. This could be, um, this could be someone in your family being like, I'm pregnant, um, but there's something like a happy surprise coming in. Five of Swords, unnecessary conflict, unnecessary worry. If there's anything you are stressed about or people around you are fighting about and you're like, that's a waste of time, I'm staying out of that. If you're second guessing that this week, if you're like, should I? intervened should i sort that out um for a lot of you it's like your siblings are fighting with each other or your family's fighting with each other and you're like should i step in five of swords here page of cups there's something where they're gonna sort their own stuff out they're gonna apologize when they meant to not your circus not your monkeys leave them to it is the feeling um you might be very much like either you're the oldest in your family or you're just the one that always you're the level-headed one that's expected to sort things out this week. You really don't need to. Just let everyone do their thing. You protect your peace, Aquarius. What is that coming out? Four of Cups. Protect your peace. This person looks like they're hibernating. Uh, this is also rejection. You could be rejecting people if you're single. You're kind of like, like I said, moths to a flame. If you are getting a lot of attention that you don't want, then there's going to be a lot of people that you have to reject. There's going to be a lot of um, invites that you have to decline. There's something where you feel bad or you might find yourself almost feeling bad this week for no declining or for rejecting because you keep rejecting people or something. Like you're on your fourth person this week and you've rejected them and you're like, oh God, I'm a terrible person. Don't feel bad is the advice. Don't feel, um, at the end of the day, you're doing them a favor. Like what's the other option? Like do you say yes to them even though you're not interested? Don't feel bad. I don't know, there's something here where you're feeling, and it could even be friends wanna hang out, you're getting invites to socialize and everyone wants like a little piece of you and you're saying no consistently and you're like, God, I've said no to them three times or four times in a row. Don't feel bad about it if you don't wanna do something. Honestly, if they're your friend, if this is someone that you value in your life, they should understand that you protecting your own calm and your own peace of mind and your own emotional state is should be at the forefront of their mind as well as yours, if they're your friend, you know what I mean? Don't feel bad if you just want to take some time out. Which is funny because I was talking about before how you should do something you want to do and now I'm like, oh, you're going to be neglected like declining invites but the thing that I said you should do it's something it's a hob a hobby or a habit there's some type of like thing that you do like twice a week or once a week that you're like oh I don't have the energy this week there's something that if you're dressed up to go do it if there's something that you're ready to go go I don't know I don't know what I'm trying to say but there's also a balance here of don't feel like you have to go to everything that you're invited to um, Two of Swords, King of Wands. Also, that's so funny that Two of Swords come out because I'm pretty much in Two of Swords energy as reading these cards, so I can pick up on that right away. Of like, I just over explained three times what I was trying to say to you and probably caused a lot more confusion than clarity, and that's all about the Two of Swords because the Two of Swords, she's got the clarity originally with the Ace of Swords, but then she thinks about it a little more. And she zooms in on the Ace of Swords and she overanalyzes the Ace of Swords to the point where she's got no information. She's looked at that Ace of Swords so clearly for so long that she now has two swords and she has two possible truths. So there could be something here about you overanalyzing a person, a situation, a circumstance to the point where you were clear about it and you did know and then you've thought about it for so long and you've looked at it so closely that you don't really know. You don't really know now what's going on. You're a bit confused. And that's always what happens. Nothing good ever comes from overanalyzing something or someone. So this week you are overthinking and feeling like it could be a boss. It could be a partner. There's something that like you, there's a circumstance or a situation that you're overthinking and 
you've lost clarity. So basically the only way to get that clarity again is by communicating. It's by communicating and sharing your thoughts and being outward and being exposing your thoughts and feelings so that they can expose theirs because I feel like you're gonna create create a lot of confusion if you don't you keep spiraling and overthinking and overanalyzing, you're never gonna get that clarity back until you get out of your own mind. I give you one more card. What's happening? Page of Pentacles. You're also going to be given an opportunity this week that you should... There's an opportunity coming in with the Page of Pentacles that you are already prepared for. So this could be something you've already studied for or you've already done in the past. Say you are a baker. You used to own a bakery. Someone now wants you to work in their shop. If anything, I feel like you might be overqualified in saying that for, for something you're going to get. But it's quite nice quite nice because you have more than enough talent and skill to kind of keep up um it's like an easygoing job or something there's something you're going to be offered like a little bit of extra income or a little bit of i don't know it feels like something about a wedding also some of you it's like will you come and take photos at our wedding or something and you're like yeah i don't know it just feels like obvious to you that you would take this um but there's money around it there's money around this there's talent it's like showing off you can show off um, I'm going to wrap your reading up here. Thank you so much for watching. If anything I said resonated or you feel it will in the future, please let me know by liking and subscribing. And I'll see you next Tuesday for Tiny Tilt Fair Tuesdays.